Hi, teachers. My name is Melissa Higgison, and I'm a high school teacher here in Indiana. You might recognize me from this recent episode of 60 Minutes or this video from Microsoft. I'm not an actress. I'm a real-life classroom teacher just like you. You've seen me talk about Conmigo and the amazing impact it's had in helping bring out the joy in learning for my students. Today, I want to show you some of my own tips and tricks with using Conmigo to help you boost your own teaching potential. One of my favorite Conmigo teacher tools to help me free up time for interaction with my students is the lesson hook feature. Let me show you how to use it. I'm getting ready to start a unit in my high school chemistry class on periodic trends, and I'm looking for a way to pique my students' interest in the topic. So I'm going to head over to high school chemistry and just see what content is already available for me, because this is usually a great starting point. Atomic radii is really what I want to start with. It looks like there's a video and a practice in here, but I'm looking for something really just to pique their interest. So I'm going to go ahead and click into Conmigo Teacher Tools, Lesson Hook. And this is already pre-populated. Learn about how atomic size varies across periods and down groups. Perfect. Let's see what ideas Conmigo has for me today. I love this idea. I just don't have access to these things in my classroom. So I am just going to discuss this. I am going to just talk with Conmigo now and say that I would like to make this a paper pencil activity. And so it's giving me two ideas. They're given a list of elements along with their relative atomic radii in centimeters and ask them to draw circles to represent the atoms. I love this idea. I don't want to create a document on this. I want Conmigo to help me create a document. So I'm going to expand on this idea. So I said, can you provide a list of relative atomic radii in centimeters for periods one through three only? Again, I don't want this to take a long time. Have the students use the links as diameters, again, for the sake of time. Make the measurements compatible with a standard ruler. Create a student-facing document to incorporate all this information because I don't want to create the document. So let's just see what it comes up with. I try to be as specific as possible, but I can always cater it later if I need to, if I'm not 100 percent happy with what it comes up with. Oh my goodness, I love this. Okay, so use the elements below. You're going to use this as a diameter, exactly what I asked it to do. Um, you're going to make circles. Here's period one. These measurements are totally manageable for my students with a regular ruler, so this is great. And there's even some discussion questions about the patterns and how the radii are changing um, as you move down a group and across periods. So this is perfect. My last step here literally would be just to copy and paste this into a Google Doc to copy or move it into my learning management system for students. Thank you for watching this video and I hope it helps you in your classroom. To try out Conmigo's lesson hook and discover more helpful features for yourself, follow the links on your screen. Happy teaching!